So the other day, Valve announced the Steam Deck, which is a, you, I mean, you've seen it. It's the portable Steam PC. It's kind of like the Nintendo Switch, but a bit more powerful. So Gab did a video on it, trying to estimate the rough performance that we might see using a downclocked 5500 XT and a downclocked 3100. So, you know, Zen 2 and, okay, it's Navi 1, RDNA 1, but we, he did another video talking about the differences between RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 for performance as far as IPC goes and based off of teraflop scaling, so it's okay. Go check that video out if you want to deeper explanation on it. It's pretty cool, honestly, and I'm pretty excited about it. But the comments were roasting poor Gab about a few things. First off, Gab, 16 by 10 is a real thing. Yeah, okay, buddy. They're making laptops with it. It's been a thing. It's always a thing. No, <laughs> wrong. So they, you guys roasted and just laid into him about the resolution, which he deserved. And you guys also mentioned Linux, and you were saying, well, it's running Arch-based Linux, it should run better. Linux is lightweight, it's more efficient, and it's not spying on you like Windows does. And honestly, I looked at that and I've played around with Linux a lot. I'm by no means an expert, but I, I didn't expect a huge performance increase. 10%, 15% optimistically, but the people wanna know. So we try to test it out. So I installed an Arch-based distribution. I know someone out there is gonna be like, that's not Arch. You didn't go through the trials and tribulations and it's not hard. You just gotta read 80 pages of the wiki. Okay, Arch isn't that hard to install, but I'm on a schedule here. So we installed Manjaro, which is basically Arch, just slightly different packages, but it's it's got all the Arch goodness inside. So let me just log in here. Gab? David. <laughs> it's just, it's always that face. It all started with that smile. I'm sorry, I can't. I, screen fetch here, just so they can see. And then this is the uh, screen fetch. This is what you do to flex on people. Like, yeah, I'm running Linux. This is what Linux I'm running. So you can see there the specs, you know, it's using about a gig of RAM. You can see the 5500 XT and all that goodness. What kernel version I'm running, everything like that. So we went and we installed Steam, which is actually pre-installed on Manjaro. And we tried to test out a few different games. The same games that he did on the previous video. Once again, go check that out. It's really cool. So we tested, out, we ended up testing, what was it? Cyberpunk? Doom 2016 GTA 5. We tried some other titles and my lord there are some teething issues with this that Valve needs to address. I swear half the time I tried to install, and by half the time I mean basically every time I tried to install a title it had to download shaders and then for half of them it had to compile shaders which oh lord we tried Metro Exodus that took like legitimately an hour <laughs> and then the benchmark wouldn't run and it was running native Linux version. And I don't know, like I had to give up on that one. <laughs> so Valve has some serious work that they need to have done to make this an enjoyable and useful experience to the average consumer. You're not gonna wanna boot this up and have to deal with editing the command. Oh, well, no, it's a terminal on Linux. Don't kill me. Don't roast me guys. Don't roast me too much for that. <laughs> but the average user isn't going to wanna pull up the terminal because this scares people and then try and do text file editing in what VI, VIM, I don't know, text editing programs that elitists like to brag about. You're not gonna wanna do that. You don't wanna edit kernel parameters. I don't wanna edit kernel parameters. It's annoying and it's spooky and it's different every time. <laughs> and then you have to make it up to, it, it, it's scary. I don't wanna do it. And they better make sure you don't have to do it. So we tried to do the same video. We tried to downclock the card just to kind of match it, and we tried to match the performance. Gav had it down like 60 something percent. What was the percentage? 68%. <sighs> so close. So I installed some software, edited the, the kernel parameters, so I could actually overclock with AMD software. And I have, I, I could not confidently use that information. The program is super weird, and I couldn't be sure that it was downclocking properly because the results were kind of too good to be true. 
So we ran it full speed stock and compared it to stock full speed on Windows. And the results are too good to be true. <laughs> Doom 2016 runs so much better. <laughs> like 50% more frames per second. You can check the footage, we check the settings. They're the same picture. Do not turn on TSSAA though. You're gonna have a bad time if you turn that on on Linux. It's, it's a trip. <laughs> It looked the same with FXAA going, same settings. What well, we're running at, like Ultra? Yep. Yeah, we're running Ultra, getting like 100 something FPS, like no problem. Super fluid, super good experience. It's like, how is it running 50% better than Windows? If it was OpenGL, we can talk about that because AMD's OpenGL drivers on Windows, is hot, they're hot garbage. And actually we saw 50% improve when we did that GPU comparison, didn't we? Yeah, well between Windows and Linux, like the the like suddenly suddenly you like you weren't gapping me anymore and I overtook you. So if it was OpenGL, I'd understand, but we made sure we were running Vulkan. I have no words. So okay, okay, it's a Vulkan native title. It, okay, it's fine. It's just an outlier. We get those sometimes. So we launched Cyberpunk. And it got even worse. <laughs> and by worse, I mean better. We doubled our frame rate. I, and I know for a fact, I tried to run this card at 1080p for Cyberpunk, and it was a bad time when I had my Windows build when that game came out. I got like 30 FPS, and that's what we got today. Linux, I'm getting like 60. Same settings. I don't understand. I, I, if any of you guys know what we did wrong or can explain that kind of like performance delta please let me know in the comments or harass me in the discord i know when the game came out people started running it through proton and they were getting 90 percent of windows performance and that was like that's so good how am i getting how am i getting 190 percent like wow so if you're wondering why 90 percent performance was a big deal it's because it is running through Proton, which is kind of the killer feature that Valve's been working on for ages. And that's kind of what's making the Steam Deck possible. What Proton does is it doesn't emulate Windows. There's a whole stupid, funny meme thing that they've been doing on Linux for years, where if you wanted to run Windows apps, you ran it through Wine. What did Wine stand for? It stood for Wine is not an emulator. Linux people are the best. <laughs> So it's not an emulator, it's kind of just a translation. We, we've we had that before, I think Valve like hired the guy who was working on it, where you're converting DirectX calls into Vulkan, which sometimes gives you better performance with older titles, like DX9 titles, because you're using a better system, but DX12 to Vulkan should have performance loss. You're still translating. So I have no words for that. Just in case you guys didn't know what Proton was, it's kind of becoming a buzzword with the new software. So desperate for something to confirm that we're not insane, we tried to load up GTA 5. So we ran GTA 5 and we proved that we weren't crazy, well kinda yes and no. The performance was basically the same where you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference, which I could kinda buy, I could kinda believe that. Except there's a couple of parts where the game cheats going through Proton and like it doesn't render flowing water but only some of the flowing water. It's the weirdest thing and it's definitely increasing your frame rate because of it. So our original footage of the GTA 5 benchmark for Linux is terrible. Um, something with our encoder went sideways. So we tried to rerun it to get you some crisp, crisp footage and it crashes. Not like crashes the desktop, no no no, it crashes the desktop. Gone. Happened several times and I don't know how to how to fix it. I'm eight hours into this video. So you're gonna have to forgive us and just uh, just try and upscale it with your eyes. We saw no graphical issues on Doom, but we well, besides TSSAAAA. But we did see like an occasional graphical glitch in Cyberpunk. Um, you see that anyway. Yeah. That's just Cyberpunk experience, baby. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a proton bug or not. I just think about when you're riding your motorcycle on launch and like, if you went to the specific point of the map, a ghost of you T-posing would yeah, just be in front yeah, of you. Just if you're going fast enough, you'd just start T-posing. 
I, I found a very specific point where it happened a hundred percent of the time. I crossed this lo invisible line and I'm T-posing. <laughs> they can T-posing at that. Yeah, just in front of me. They're like, what? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might not even be Proton's fault. That just might be Cyberpunk being Cyberpunk. And that definitely wouldn't explain a double, a doubling of your performance. I don't understand that. I, I guess I might have been wrong. <laughs> Okay guys, in the comments, you might have been right last time. Although, I want to see the guys in the comments for this video telling me why the guys in the last video were wrong. Please tell me if you have any ideas why this happened. But, I'm suddenly a lot more optimistic about the Steam Deck at that point. So, my main concern is still just the usability of the device for the average Joe. I know someone's gonna say, well, Android's Linux, and then someone else is gonna say, no, it's just the Linux kernel. But if you remember Android when it first came out, 1.0, 1.5, etc., it was a mess. It was a train wreck. And that was Google pushing it. This is Valve pushing it, so I'm cautious that we might have the same problem. I, I really want this to work, but I want this to work in a way where everybody can enjoy it. You see, this is the problem with it. This is the weird stuff that I don't want the average user to see. I don't want to see it. What, what are you doing? I played this yesterday. There's no patch. Steam Linux runtime soldier. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that nobody wants to see. They just wanna take it out of the dock, hit the button, hit play, and go play Cyberpunk, hopefully while not driving. And, you know, th this is the kind of weird nonsense. I have no idea what that was. I'm still getting 60 FPS minimum, and if we do this on Windows, you're getting like 30. There's something really weird going on with low spec AMD cards. Right? Like, here, let me go let me go somewhere so we can briefly look at the graphics just so you guys can see that nothing funky is being like not rendered or omitted and you're like oh well you're not rendering textures no 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 they're set to very low this is just what happens <laughs> like this is this looks normal this is what the game looks like right <laughs> like, yeah when you did the side by side you didn't see anything crazy right nope. yeah if those numbers are to be believed 60 FPS at 1280 by 800 is completely viable. And especially if you count in FSR, that's a very compelling device, a very compelling purchase. And if we think about Valve, and I think they might have said something about this, this might not be the only Steam Deck. They might try and get other partners on board. So I mean, a future where everybody's got their own Steam Deck device, pretty nice. <clears throat> so anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any more suggestions, complaints, requests, or just what are you gonna roast me on? I'm sure I did something. <laughs> Dude, I'm I just, oh God. I can't believe these results. I'm, I'm just baffled. I'm honestly just baffled. Like it can't be real, but it's there. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments or in the Discord if you've got any other things you want us to test out. You know, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.